I'm Ray Lutz. Let me tell you the problem here. These scanners are Diebold scanners. They, it has been documented, the Washington Post, September 21st article, that these scanners have a flaw in their program, uh, documented in Ohio. Uh, the scan results goes into a memory chip. That memory chip is then moved over to the other room that we can't get into where they have the central tabulator. Now when they do their scanning here, they produce a tape, a statement of the votes cast. And they make a zero tape and a result tape at the end. That tape is then boxed up with the ballots and put back in the back room and no one ever looks at it. Meanwhile, they take the recorded media, the digital media, and they take that back into the black box central tabulator that no one can look into. Meanwhile, the election law states clearly that they're supposed to make three copies of this tape and place one of those copies available for public inspection. We want to get those tapes so that we can scan them and make them available on the internet so that everyone can add them up themselves and verify what they're doing. The problem is they don't even look at the tapes themselves. No one ever looks at these tapes. Uh, with this flaw that's been documented in the Ohio Elections Board, uh, the fact that they're un unwilling to even answer the question. October 3rd, I sent them a letter, register our voters, and I asked them, are you going to follow the elections code in this regard? They didn't answer the letter. They, they could have said no, <laughs> or they could have said yes, you know, one or the other. They decided not to answer at all, and that makes you wonder why. Why are they not answering a simple question about whether they're going to follow this law? Um, then we're told that they don't have to follow the law because these scanners are operating within this building. But that's of little consequence to the public because we have no, uh, no confidence that these scanners are actually totaling up the ballots correctly. Um, all of this can be, you can find it at, at uh, copswiki.org, Citizens Oversight Projects or citizensoversight.org has a link into this. Look for election integrity. You can view the video of the entire process from February 5th and the craziness that went on then. And so we're here again, really, and we made no progress being able to open this up so that we can, doc, uh, that we can val validate what they're doing. So this vulnerability exists, there, and there's very little confidence that they're not cheating.